two telescopes here. I'm wondering which one I have to get. This one is a Zemex Ico 60 millimeter. Very good portable telescope. It's a butter smooth Kronos telescope. 120 millimeter. Double the aperture of this one. Which one do you think I should get? Difficult. I have to choose. Which one is the best? Hmm. Anybody can help me. Anybody who has experience with these telescopes. Two telescopes here. I'm wondering which one I have to get. This one is a Zemex Ico 60 millimeter. Very good portable telescope. It's a butter smooth Kronos telescope. 120 millimeter, double the aperture of this one. Which one do you think I should get? Difficult. I have to choose. Which one is the best? Hmm. Anybody can help me? Anybody who has experience with these telescopes? This is a Zemex Ico vintage Japanese refractor, 60 millimeter. The reason 60 millimeter is important is that 60 millimeter is the uh, maximum that you can actually see a very good iris disc when you're observing the stars, those ringed patterns and other stuff. And uh, what you will see with these telescopes are really good quality. And because it's a longer refractor, the F number is larger, so you don't have principally much uh, chromatic aberration. Although the, the lens is not apochromatic, it's just double uh, achromatic. The telescope is really good. The only problem here is that I have to repair this. We put a, a strap here to connect this tray to this leg. The rest of it, it has a, a diagonal, it has a a rect image viewfinder, borrow lens, uh, this lens is uh, Japanese, it's a Huygens 20mm, the, there is another one, 4mm and 9mm ones, and the viewfinder is impressive, uh, I built a lens cap for it, but there is no lens cap in this, and the view I must say that is good, is good, it's impressive, better than what I thought. is a Konos, uh, Konos Super 120 refractor and the focal point of this is a 1000 millimeter one meter and the F ratio or focal ratio is 8.3 F number and as you can see this is a quite large telescope 5 inch almost and uh, is a refractor you can see the lens. Turn on the part so you can see the lens. And uh, it is on a CG5 mount, which is equal to EQ3, I think. And a little bit thicker than bigger than EQ3. Quite actually smooth and lovely. The motions are really. It's one of the best uh, mounts I've seen in this range. So easy to adjust and so easy to move the telescope. Look! Every angle you can imagine is has balance. And so easy to set it up. I'm looking forward to observe with this telescope uh, Jupiter and uh, probably. Saturn, hopefully, and a little bit later, a little bit away from the morning times, morning to p.m. times. But I'm really impressed by the quality of this mount, and these knobs, control knobs, are really good. They're chunky; you can hold them in your hand. It's almost like those space uh, balls that uh, existed with the Swift. Uh, classic Japanese telescope 
and you can see that Konos is an Italian company, but practically they are equal to a sky watcher. They're, they import the same from the same Chinese factory, and uh, yeah, good quality. Uh, I have one Konos, and uh, that's really good. That one, 80 millimeter one, really impressive. Let's see how is this one. As you can see, I'm now uh, looking at a pine tree, and you can see the new pine coins are coming. The quality of the image is good, I can say. And the, the mount is so smooth. I've never, <laughs> probably I've never seen such a smooth operation for a mount. This is through the Zemex Ico telescope. The same tree, the same pine tree.